All right, Dan and Bernie, thank you very much. Here with Tori Krug and Tori, six straight. I mean, you guys got to be feeling good. Obviously, you want to win games, but considering everything you guys went through to find your way out of it and win six consecutive games, how good does this one feel here tonight? Yeah, it feels good. Obviously, um, it was it was pretty ugly there for a while. So uh, to come out of that, uh, playing the right way and, and getting rewarded for our work, um, obviously that was a good one tonight. I know you guys had some player-only meetings, and a lot of things happen when you lose a lot of games. But you just said coming out of it. How did you guys come out of it? Uh, good old-fashioned hard work. I mean, um, obviously there's a lot of things said. Uh, you can have as many meetings as you want. Uh, you can make changes to the lineup, but all that matters is stepping out on the ice and putting in the work. And ultimately, um, you know, we've been doing that the last couple of weeks, and, and it's shown for it. You guys have a lot of veteran players, obviously, in the room. But when you lose games like that, does doubt creep in, or do you guys truly believe you're going to be able to find your way out of it? Well, I think um, at the end of the day, we all understand we're good players, and uh, we have a great group in there. Um, the veteran core, the young guys coming up and stepping in, doing a great job. So uh, we understood it was there. It's always been there. Uh, you just gotta gotta find a way to bring it out. And um, right now, it's working for us. So um, sometimes it creeps in a little bit, but uh, we're able to just push it aside and keep on going. A guy like Pavel Buchnevich, you know, he missed some games with injury. Now he's back. He's finding his game again. He had four points here tonight. What does he mean to his uh, to this team? when he's going and not just on the power play but obviously five on five too yeah i mean he's got all the ability in the world um if you look up and down our lineup he plays in all situations and, and has the capability of being our best 200 foot player so uh he's a very important guy for us uh we're obviously very lucky to have him and um you know he, he cares about the game a lot and i think that's what shows and ultimately um you know when he's playing like that we're a hard team to stop all right you score your fourth goal of the season here tonight how often do you work on that one time or tory uh we hit a few every single day so um you know, obviously it's it's part of the job, part of the gig up there when you're on the power play, and um, we work on it quite a bit. But um, when you get chances like that, you got to make sure you take advantage of them. So, yeah, This game had some feistiness, too. Tyler Tucker comes up. What do you tell a young guy like him, and is it kind of fun seeing him getting a scrap there? It's great. I mean, um, you know, he's come in and done a great job. Uh, just a stable guy back there, and obviously... Um, in a situation like that, in a 6-2 game, uh, he sticks up for himself, and, and guys on the bench feed off that. So uh, we're very happy for him. Uh, he did a heck of a job, too. Another game coming up on Monday against Anaheim. This is kind of crazy. You don't have too many back-to-back -back sets like this in the same building. How do you approach Monday? Um, you know, if you look back at it a couple years ago, it was hard to beat teams two, two times in a row uh, when we were in that COVID stretch there. So uh, we understand um, you know, they don't like their effort tonight, and they're going to come out hard on Monday. So uh, it's going to be a good test. One more question for you. Nola Chari, I know you had a big part in him deciding to come to St. Louis. You guys are former teammates in Boston. Did you truly know he'd fit in as well as he has? Yeah, I had a feeling he was going to be uh, you know, one of the coach's favorites uh, from day one. He stepped on the ice for us. So um, one of my favorite players I've played with, uh, both ends of the ice, his compete level, uh, block shots, even 6-2 games, he's blocking shots late because he plays for uh, the guys sitting next to him. So he's uh, a great teammate. All right, congrats on the win. Thank you very much. All right, Dan and Bernie, let's go back to you.